everyone. It's Kathy, Kathy Rose Creations. Um, I'm making a corsage for my sister for her Halloween costume. And when we get our costumes complete, I'll be posting video and stills. But I thought I'd show a quick video on how I made her corsage since I didn't film it when I was doing mine. So... What I did was I took some lace trim and I stitched it together, just a running stitch, two different ones, and um, pulled them together, did them together to make a little flower thingy, double layer, okay? See that? Double layer, okay. Then I had these satin roses from, oh, probably 100 years ago. <laughs> In a previous lifetime, for some reason, I had these satin roses, and it's got a piece of rotten old scotch tape on it. Anyway, um, and I'm going to use these as the base for the flower. And also, I have some leaves. I have like a whole basket full of torn up flower parts and whole artificial flowers and stuff. And I use them in all kinds of things. So, I think I'm going to put the the uh, leaf down first. Got my hot glue gun fired up. And I'm going to put a little glue there and a little glue there. And I'm going to use my handy dandy silicone scraper to push down the hot glue so I don't burn myself, which I have a tendency to do. And again, I had these two satin ribbons, these old satin ribbons, and um, fix the leaf like this one. Okay, and I'm going to stick them down through the hole that I, that was left in the um, little flower dealy bopper I made. Do funny dealy bopper thingamajig. <laughs> I have a tendency to do that when I can't think of a word. I use one of these stupid words. And yes, they are stupid words. Get in there. What is wrong with you? Okay. Didn't have it in the right hole. Here we go. Here, um, I'm going to wait on gluing those down. Um, I have another piece here of the lace that was kind of left over. And I thought I would kind of glue it on the side. And I want to get it under the leaves. This thing works really great. Get them at the dollar store. Or get out of your kitchen and get a new one for your kitchen. That's what I did. Works super. Keep you from burning your fingers. Josie Gito, who keeps burning her fingers. Okay. Then I have a little artificial white rosebud. And... I'm going to glue this little sucker in here. And I think I'm just going to stick it under here. There. So far, so good. 
and I have a teensy tiny pink rosebud. And I think I'm going to put it inside this, the bigger satin rose. Oh, that looks cute. I think I'm going to get another. I know what happened. I found one. Oh, don't worry. I cut it with a pair of scissors, but these are my crappy little gluey scissors. <laughs> and I'm going to put another little pink rosebud in the middle of the second row. Oh, Before I um, started this video, I uh, laid this all out and sent, took a picture of it, sent it to my sister and said, do you like this? This is what I'm making for you. If you like it, let me know before I glue the sucker together. So she loved it. My sister loves everything. <laughs> Then I have these little iridescent pearl thingies. They're kind of, I don't know if you can tell how iridescent they are. They're kind of clear, but they're like iridescent. <laughs> and I kind of wrapped it around my finger and gave it like a little curly cue thing going on here. And I thought I'd stick it. Let's see where did I stick the other one? I'm looking at the picture of the corsage that I sent my sister. The one before I glued it together. The picture I took before I glued it together. Because I didn't want to get it all glued together and have her say, Oh no, I hate that. <laughs> I knew she wouldn't. But. And then instead of curling this around, I'm going to leave this kind of like in a little leaf shape. So. I wonder who invented hot glue. I always want to know this stuff. I mean, I really like knowing where words come from and who invents stuff and who started things. I don't know. Maybe it's my nosy nature. <laughs> Think about it. I mean, I'm sure it was used in some commercial application before crafters started using it. But, uh, oh, and then I have this little bird. See? Little tiny bird. And it's real soft. It kind of, I guess those are real feathers. Yeah, those are real feathers on this little bird. I don't know where he came from. His feet are missing. He's footless. But I thought I'd stick him in here. And I showed Julie a picture of it before, the with the bird and without the bird. And she said she liked the bird. So, let's see. I think I'll stick him down like that. So, what do you think? Huh? I think it turned out pretty good. Now all I have to do is glue.
glue the, the big things in the back here so they stay and maybe wrap a little bit of the stem and then trim off some of it. It's all kind of funky. Anyway, that's my little corsage and I'm glad I got to videotape. Okay. <laughs> keep saying that all the time. That's because I'm old. Anyway, um, I just thought I'd show this. Thank you very much for watching. If you um, like my videos, please subscribe. Um, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. And if you're a new subscriber, thank you very, very much. And to my current subscribers, I really, really appreciate it. And I love comments. I try very hard to answer all my comments. So thank you again. Be nice to each other. It's a small world out there, folks. Peace.